Hello students. Today we will discuss three basic concept. It's very easy to understand. First, you see the full employment. So already we discussed in the previous video determination of equilibrium level of income. So in that case, what you have seen that ADAS full employment. It means when AD is equal AS. See when AD and AS both are equal at point E. So it means OQ is the equilibrium level of output, employment or income. This is also called the full employment and this is also called the effective demand. So full employment means what? When AD is equal AS. This is the diagram. See, in here OX denotes output in employment income and OY denotes AD. This is the aggregate demand curve and this is the AS curve. So when they intersect, AS and AD intersect at point E, this is the full employment where AD is equal to AS. Simple. Okay. So next you see the underemployment equilibrium. So what I did first, I have drawn this AD and AS curve. AD and AS. AD means what? Full employment AD. This is the full employment AD. And this is the actual AD. Okay. So it means when aggregate demand curve, see, this actual AD, it means AD1. So AD1 and AS, they intersect at the point F. Actually, when full employment AD and AS intersect at point E, this is the equilibrium point. It means OQ. But when actual aggregate demand curve and AS curve intersect at point E, below this point, no? so this is the E is the full employment, but now actual AD because of some reasons like less of propensity to consume, uh, less export, uh, okay, increase in taxes. So because of so many reasons, uh, AD can decrease. So when AD decreases, then it will shift to the way, downside. See here. This one, actual AD. So this actual AD intersect AS at point E. So this is called the underemployment equilibrium. So this is the full employment equilibrium. This is the underemployment equilibrium. It means you can also say that when AD is less than AS, it means demand deficiency. Okay, so next you see our full employment. So in here, in this diagram, AD is the full employment aggregate demand. This AD, full employment aggregate demand. So actually, this is the full employment equilibrium where AD is equal S. But in here, what happened? You see, this actual AD curve is above than the full employment AD. So that's why this is the over full employment equilibrium demand. A full employment equilibrium. It means in here, demand efficiency excess demand so in here demand excess demand it means aggregate demand is more than aggregate supply okay so that's why you have seen that ad shifted to the up upside the no? right word so this is the over full employment equilibrium so in all these three things you can draw in the same diagram also it's up to you so when you understand the main thing then you can show all these things in the same diagram just to clear your confusion, I have shown it uh, in a different, different diagram. For example, full employment, very simple, when AD is equal to AS. Underemployment equilibrium, it means this is the original, uh, this is the full employment equilibrium. Because of some reasons, so when AD is less than aggregate supply, then this is the underemployment equilibrium. So actual AD is below that, this is the full employment AD. And opposite of our full employment equilibrium, this is the aggregate supply curve, this is the full employment AD. But now this is the actual AD because of excess demand. So that's why this is the over full employment equilibrium. So very simple. So it means this point when they will intersect equilibrium, when this point will come down, then this is the underemployment. When this point will go up to this equilibrium point, this is called the over full employment equilibrium. So this is all about the full employment, underemployment and over full employment equilibrium. Okay, so clear once, it's too very simple. 
See here, under employment equilibrium, actually this is the aggregate supply curve and this is the aggregate demand curve, full employment AD. But in here, AD is, this is the AD1 is the actual AD, it means less than this AD. So that's why they have intersect at point E, it means in here, demand deficiency, aggregate demand is less than aggregate supply, that's why under employment, simple. In here, over full employment, this is the full employment AD and this is AS. So in this diagram, actually this is the full employment equilibrium where AD is equal to AS. But we have seen that AD is above than the full employment AD. So actual AD is more than full employment AD. So that's why this is they have intersect at point Z. So this is called the over full employment. It is because of here demand efficiency more aggregate demand than aggregate supply. So this is all about the full employment, underemployment and over full employment equilibrium. So I hope you understood this lesson. But if you have any confusion, let me know in the comment section below and I will talk to you there. Thank you.